Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you how to make a custom tab list using script. So as you can see here, we have the server IP, the amount of players that are currently online, me and my rank, and some other tips underneath it, like how to join the, your server's Discord, or how to visit your store. So for this, you're going to be needing SKB, and script these are both mandatory so it works more efficiently and let's get started once you're done installing script and skb you can boot up your server and you can go in your plugins file folder and in the script folder that is in your plugins folder if you installed it properly there should be a scripts folder inside of that script folder so the directory should be your server, plugins, script, and then scripts. And then once you're here, you can go ahead, create a new file, and you can name it whatever you want, but the extension has to be .sk, so script recognizes that it is a script file. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and open the file. Now, I'm using Visual Studio Code from Microsoft, since I prefer this one other and other IDEs, but you can use whatever you want. So this is what we're gonna do. First off, we're gonna create a loop upon the player joining so we can update the data that we want to display in the player's tab list. Then we want to display the data we want. And then we want to wait one second so it doesn't loop infinitely. And so the server has a moment to breathe before uh, repeating the task, repeating the loop and it's just gonna prevent it so it doesn't crash and because otherwise it's gonna use too much RAM and stuff is gonna break. So on join, so this is gonna fire when a player joins, you're gonna create a new loop uh, that is while player is online. Then you're gonna want to wait one second. Now this is the one second that I talked about, the one second here so it doesn't crash and what you want to do is set the player's tab list header, footer, or name to the value that you want. So let's say we choose set player's tab list header to X. The player's tab list header is going to set be set to X. So for me, I'm going to put a new line, the server IP. And then we can use placeholders to display other information that we want. So let's say we want the max player count. We can type max amount of players. And then you can also put the size of players. So this is going to display the amount of players online. And this is going to display the amount of players that can be online. Now we're going to end up with a new line here. And then it's basically the same thing here. You can set the player's tab list footer to the value that you want. So for me, it's going to be Discord and then the Discord command. And I'm going to put it in blue since that is what Discord is. And also the store. So slash store. So now we have the player's tab list header here and the footer here. So this is going to play the header and this the footer. So now we want to set the player's name. So the player's name is the same as these ones. So set player's name, no, set player's name, tab list name, two, and then the value you want. So since I have a vault installed, which is a placeholder to, uh, it's not a placeholder, it's just a plugin that's useful to display other placeholders from other plugins. So for me, I'm going to be using the luck perms prefix. So players prefix. Now this is obtainable by installing vault and luck perms. And then you want to display the player too. So it's going to display the player's prefix and the player. So let's say your player is rank owner. It's going to display owner and then the player. So for me, it's going to be nebulations. So there you have it. Now you should be good to go. Once you're back on your Minecraft server, you can type in SK reload and then the file name. For me, it's going to be tablist.sk. And upon rejoining, you'll see that my tablist changes from, from this 
to this. So there you have it, your brand new customizable pab list using script. Thank you for watching and goodbye.